This is the Church of St. Paul in the Desert. The candidates for holy baptism will now be presented. Will you be responsible for seeing that the child you present is brought up in the Christian faith and life? I will, but help Will you, by your prayers and witness, help this child to grow into the full stature of Christ? I will, Do you renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces of wickedness that rebel against God? I Do you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? Do you renounce all sinful desires that draw you from the love of God? Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your Savior? Do you put your whole trust in his grace and love? Do you promise to follow and obey him as your Lord? Congregation, this question is for you. Will you who witness these vows do all in your power to support Mario and Knox in their lives in Christ. We will. Let us stand and join with those who are committing themselves to Christ and renew our own baptismal covenant. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father, mighty creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship, in the breaking of bread, and in the prayers? Will you persevere in resisting evil, and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord? I will, God's help. Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? I will, God's help. Will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? Let us now pray for Mario and Knox, who are to receive the sacrament of new birth. Deliver them, O Lord, from the way of sin and death. Hear our prayer. Open their hearts to your grace and truth. Lord, hear our prayer. Fill them with your holy and life-giving spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep them in the faith and communion of your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Teach them to love others in the power of the Spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Send them into the world and witness to your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring them to the fullness of your peace and glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, O Lord, that all who are baptized into the death of Jesus Christ, your Son, may live in the power of his resurrection and look for him to come again in glory who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. Um, families, come over here. And let's try to organize ourselves so we don't knock over the camera, too. Get ready to pour, okay? The Lord be with you. And also with you. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Over it, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through it, the children of Israel, you led the children of Israel out of their bondage in Egypt into the land of promise. In it, your son Jesus received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit in, as the Messiah, the Christ, to lead us through his death and resurrection from the bondage of sin into everlasting life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it we are buried with Christ in his death. By it we share in his resurrection. Through it we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we bring into his fellowship those who come to him in faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now sanctify this water, we pray, by the power of your Holy Spirit, that those who here are cleansed from sin and born again may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ our Savior. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory now and forever. Amen. Congregation, if you'd like to sit down, you may, and I think more people will see. Mario Maxwell, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. There we go. And I need Max. Knox Hilding, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mario, I'll need you to stand up here. Mario Maxwell, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. Amen. Knox Hilding, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. Amen. Now, congregation, you are invited as you pass the peace, as you greet the children in the coffee hour, any place else, you're invited to put your thumb across that cross and say, you are marked as Christ's own forever. Now we also have a candle for each. I need somebody to get it. Knox, you receive the light of Christ on behalf of the Church of St. Paul in the desert. Maxwell, receive the light of Christ on behalf of the Church of St. Paul in the desert. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that by water and the Holy Spirit you have bestowed upon Mario and Knox the forgiveness of sin and have raised them to the new life of grace. Sustain them, O Lord, in your Holy Spirit. Give them an inquiring and discerning heart the courage to will and to persevere, a spirit to know and to love you, and the gift of joy and wonder in all your works. 